Hi, this is about lenses. Now it's a beginner's lesson about lenses, so I hope it helps the beginner. If you know about lenses already, there's no point in watching the rest of it. Right, here we go. Right, now we're going to look at um, how the lens is marked. This will help you understand lenses. So it's a Sigma lens, it's a zoom lens, it's a lens that goes from 18mm to 50mm. Now focal length, um, or the millimetres of a lens, means the angle of view. Now a low millimetre lens would have an angle of view very wide, and a long millimetre, so it would be um, called a long lens, uh, say a 200 millimetre lens, would have a very narrow angle of view. The 2.8 means the maximum opening the lens is capable of. Now when I mean opening in a lens, it's the aperture and it closes and opens like that. When this particular lens is at 2.8, it's wide open and it allows the maximum light through the lens. EXDC is the type of lens for a particular camera and the 67 is the diameter of a filter that will fit the lens. Well I think that's pretty clear now. The zoom is marked on the side. Now this turns and as you see the, the, lens, is, the lens gets longer. In some cases on the better lenses it doesn't get longer it all happens internally and that would be an internal zoom. This lens, as we said, what goes from 18, 24, 28, 35 and 50 or anything in between. So that allows you to get things looking as if they're closer. There's a lock and that locks the zoom. The AFM is the autofocus or manual focus. And the focus is on this ring. Now, lenses will be different, but it, some lenses the ring is here, some the ring is here. This lens will focus from 0.85 to 10 foot, and the 8 upside down lying on its side, if you like, is an infinity mark. Now, infinity is something that is so far away you can't focus on it, so if you're photographing the moon, you would put it on infinity, for example. Now that really is the markings on a camera, on a lens. Now other, other lenses have, sorry, have this marked. Now this is a stabiliser. Now some lenses have a stabiliser in them. So when you're using long exposures, you can switch that off or on. It will st automatically stabilise the lens. So it enables you to use longer exposures. Now it's better to switch it off when you're working on a tripod. Okay, now this particular lens you see doesn't have anything marked in the lens, so lenses change from type to type. So now we know that uh, the millimetres of a lens is called the focal length of a lens. Now, what difference is there between the different focal lengths? Right, now let's have a look at um, some photographs to demonstrate. Um, the camera's locked off on a tripod, so nothing has moved between these photographs. This is a 10mm lens, very wide angle, and it sees an awful lot of the garden. Now let's move on to the 20. Now the 20, as you see, is a little closer in, but it still um, would be a wide angle lens. Now a normal or a standard lens would be anywhere between 35 and 50mm, like this one. Um, that purely depends on the type of camera you have, as some cameras have smaller sensors than others. A short telephoto lens would be around 80 to 135 millimeter. This is 100 millimeter, and you can see we're getting close up. Now we're to the 200. Um, as you can see, the 200 is uh, getting a lot closer, or bringing the subject a lot closer. Now this I would call um, a long, or no, I'd call it a medium telephoto. They exist up to about a thousand millimeter. Now this would be considered a long, uh, a long telephoto, the 300mm. It's good fun, you see how close it goes up to things, and the byproduct is this out of focus background that is much easier to get. Um, now that's called depth of field, and I've got a lesson on that as well. 
Right, now we've covered um, zoom lenses. Now what there are also are prime lenses. Now what's a prime lens? Um, it's a lens that has a fixed focal length. So this is a 24mm lens and it will stay a 24mm lens whatever we do. It can't be changed. Um, the reason for that is that normally they're very good quality lenses. Um, yeah, there's not a lot more to say about them to keep things simple. So a prime lens is normally a better lens. Okay. Now, of course, there are lots of other types of lenses, but as this is a beginner's lesson, I thought it better to, to limit to that. Apart from one thing, and that's cleaning lenses. What you don't do is clean the lens on your shirt. Um, what, how I do it, if there's nothing desperate wrong with it, I just do that with a special cloth that comes from the opticians. Now if there's any grease on the lens, if you've put your finger on the lens and there's some grease, that might not get rid of it. Um, now they do sell in photographic shops uh, special lens cleaning uh, tissues, um, so that might be the best answer. But um, in this case, <sighs> clean your lens as least as possible. Now, as you've got your camera, make sure that when you, when you take a lens off the camera, make sure that you have a cap on it. That's very important because you want to stop any dust or dirt getting onto the sensor that's on the inside. Now, if you're changing your lens, try and do it somewhere where there's no dust flying around um, on the beach for example if there's a lot of sand be very careful particularly cleaning your lens when there's sand because any bit of sand on there even with a cloth like that will scratch the coating so be careful well i hope this lesson's helped you if it has and you're watching on youtube just above your head you'll see subscribe it costs nothing please push that because it helps me publicise the site and allows me to do more videos that will help you with your photography. Goodbye.